Welcome to another video from Guitar School Live. In this video, I'll be showing you how easy it is to program the stock FCB 1010 to control everything in the Amplitube guitar software. Let's get started. To program the FCB 1010, we'll be using an editor since it is the easiest way to program the controller. There are many editors that are both free and for purchase. However, the editor I find the easiest to use is the FCB 1010 Manager by Mountain Utilities. You can find a link to this free editor in the description below. Installation is simple, so there is no need to cover it in this video. When you open the editor, you'll be presented with this screen. The first thing you want to do is make sure your MIDI device is connected to the editor. Click the Options button, then MIDI Devices. From here, choose your MIDI device. After that click View, then Presets. This is where you'll program the FCB 1010 to send MIDI messages. Now you are ready to start programming the controller. We'll begin by setting up pedals 1 through 5 to send program changes to Amplitube. For this tutorial, when we press pedal 1, it will go to preset 3. Pedal 2 will go to preset 8. Pedal 3 will go to preset 12. Pedal 4 will go to preset 16. Pedal 5 will go to preset 21. Pedal 6 will control the compressor. Pedal 7 will control the chorus. Pedal 8 will control the delay. Pedal 9 will control the tuner. Pedal 10 will control the wah. And the two expression pedals will control the volume and the wah. Let's begin setting up the editor. Double click bank 0, pedal 1 on the preset pane. Place a check in the program change box 1 and enter the number 3 in the text box. This box is where you enter the number of the preset you want Amplitude to go to when the pedal on the controller is pressed. Next, we'll program pedal 2 to go to preset 8. Double click bank 0 pedal 2 on the preset panel. Place a check in the program change box 1 and enter the number 8 in the text box. Now, we'll program pedal 3 to go to preset 12. Same as before, double click bank 0 pedal 3 on the preset panel. Place a check in the program change box 1. And enter the number 12 in the text box. Next, we'll program pedal 4 to go to preset 16. Double click bank 0 pedal 4 on the preset panel. Place a check in the program change box 1. And enter the number 16 in the text box. Finally, we'll program pedal 5 to go to preset 21. Double click bank 0 pedal 5 on the preset panel. Place a check in the program change box 1. And enter the number 21 in the text box. Now let's program pedal 6 to 10 to turn things on and off. In this bank setup, we'll program buttons 6 through 10 to toggle effects on and off. Since buttons 6 through 10 are programmed exactly the same, there is a quick way to do this without entering each preset individually. In the presets pane, you'll highlight bank 0 preset 6 and drag down to 0 10. Next click increment. Since we are entering CC numbers, select CNT1. Then controller. Set the controller number that will be used on the first selected preset to the number 102. When you click OK, you'll see the numbers change in numerical order from 102 through 106. If you don't see the numbers, click Enable in the menu and select CNT1. We'll now do the exact same thing for CNT2. Select CNT2. Then Controller. Now, set the controller number that will be used on the first selected preset to the number 102. When you click OK, you'll see the numbers change in numerical order from 102 through 106. 
Again, if you don't see the numbers, click Enable in the menu and select CNT2. Side note, by default the value of CNT1 should be 0, and CNT2 should be 127. If it's not you'll have to manually change those numbers by using the following process. Click Fix. CNT1. Value. Enter the number 0. And click OK. Repeat the above steps for CNT2. Except for value, enter the number 127. Lastly, let's set up the expression pedals. Make sure all of the banks are selected. Click Fix. Expression A. Controller. And enter the number 7. Now, click Fix. Expression B. Controller and enter the number 11. If you don't see the numbers in the pane, click Enable, then Expression A. Repeat for Expression B. Now that we are done setting up the bank, let's save it to the FCB 1010. In the next step, we'll transfer the data from the editor to the FCB 1010. But before we begin, you must connect the MIDI in of FCB 1010 to the MIDI out of your audio interface, and MIDI out of the FCB 1010 to the MIDI in of the audio interface. Now that we have set up the FCB 1010 in the editor, we need to send the commands from the editor to the controller. In order to transmit the data, we must set up the FCB 1010 to receive it. This is done in three easy steps. First turn the unit off, then hold the down button and turn it back on. Continue holding the down button until the green light on direct select is lit and then release. Next, press the down pedal once to select config. Finally, press the number 7 button to activate the receive mode. Now, you can click the green send data to the FCB 1010 button on the editor. You will get a pop-up notification instructing you to do the three steps we just did. Simply click the OK button and the data will be sent to the controller. The last thing that needs to be done is to save it to the controller. If you do not do this step, the controller will not work. Simply hold the down button until the countdown finishes and the green light goes out. Now your FCB 1010 is ready. Let's use it to control Amplitube. In the editor, we set up pedals 1 to 5 to respond to program changes. Without doing anything else, these will now work. Pedal 1 will go to preset 3. Pedal 2 will go to preset 8. Pedal 3 will go to preset 12. Pedal 4 will go to preset 16. Pedal 5 will go to preset 21. Now, let's set up pedal number 6 to turn the compressor on and off. Right click on the control and assign MIDI. Bypass. Learn Bypass, then step on pedal 6. Now stepping on the pedal will turn it on and off. The procedure for setting up pedal 7 to control the chorus is the same as pedal 6. Right click on the control and assign MIDI. Bypass. Learn Bypass. Then step on pedal 7. It's the same procedure as the others for setting up pedal 8 to control the delay. Right click on the control and assign MIDI. Bypass. Learn Bypass. Then step on pedal 8. Let's use pedal 9 to call up the tuner. First, click the settings menu on the top right corner. Then click the control tab. Next click the control change button. Here you'll see a list with global controls. Select Tuner. Click the Learn button. 
Step on pedal number 9. Now Amplitube is set to activate the tuner when pedal 9 is selected. Before we set up pedal number 10, let's first set up the volume and wah pedals. Right click on the control and assign MIDI. Volume. Learn volume. Then step on the left expression and move it up and down. Now the volume pedal will move when the left expression pedal is stepped on. Let's do the same thing for the wah pedal. Right click on the control and assign MIDI. Wah. Learn wah. Then step on the right expression and move it up and down. Now the wah pedal will move when the right expression pedal is stepped on. Finally, let's set up button 10 to turn the wah power on and off. Right click on the wah pedal's LED. Assign MIDI. Bypass. Learn bypass. Then step on pedal 10. Now, stepping on pedal 10 will toggle the wah on and off. Well there you have it. I hope you enjoyed discovering how easy it is to program the stock FCB 1010 to control Amplitude 5. Before we end, if you would like to see more videos like this, hit like, then click the subscribe button and ring the bell so you will be notified when new content is released. From all of us at Guitar School Live, we would like to thank you for watching.